Right, this is just a short little video. I keep getting asked the same question over and over and over again on different videos, so I thought I'll do a video to explain it rather than having to keep explaining every comment what I'm doing. So, I keep getting asked, can you get replacement filters for the GP5, because the old ones have asbestos in and are really old. And the answer is yes, um, so what I'm going to do is just show you the types of filters you can use. Now, if you just want the mask cosmetically, and you're not worried about it making a proper seal, you can force NATO filters onto it. However, because Russian masks have a thing called a Ghost thread, and NATO filters are Stanag, although they're both 40mm, the screws are different. So, although you can get a NATO filter to fit on the mask, you might, damaging it, might damage the mask putting it on, and um, it's not actually going to be airtight, because there's a slight gap here where air gets in. So if you put the mask on and pressure check it, you should have a tiny bit of air going into the mask, which means it won't function fully as a gas mask. But if you just wanted it as a cosplay thing, get any modern NATO filter in any colour you want and force it on that way. So what if you want a working filter on it? Well, what you need to do is go for a Ghost filter and you can get modern Ghost filters. So what you want to look for is either a Polish type one like this or a Russian one. And these are normally called ABEC filters, a modern one. ABEC is basically saying the filter is rated for different chemicals. This particular one's actually an AB2E1 particulate free filter. But it's a very similar thing, and they'd still protect you from the same sort of things. So what you want to do is look on eBay is still the best place. And look for, if you type in Polish filter or Russian sort of filter, gas mask filter, you can look for the ones that are from the Eastern European countries that still use the um, old Warsaw Pact design mask of Ghost filters. And you get something like this, it's saying, I know the Polish ones work, and you can also find the modern Russian ones. And the modern Russian ones look nothing like GP5 filters, so you won't confuse them. They're basically black, either metal or plastic filters, which have a ribbon around it, similar to this, with different colours on, that basically tell you what the filter protects you from, because it's got the um, combination filter colour color guide on it. So that's basically it, just to show you. You get this, shove it on the mask. Although it can still be a bit difficult to get the filter at exactly the right angle. However, I think this does have a longer screw thread than the other filter. But that will go on and make an airtight seal with this filter on it. And I've tried it and this works on all the Warsaw Pack masks I've used it on that have 40mm Ghost filter ports. So you can buy them still sealed, many of them still working. The Polish ones are made by Maskpol, I believe, which is a Polish company that makes the modern Polish army gas masks. And Maskpol also make filters. So there you go, that's how you get them. So just because I don't want to keep spoon feeding people this, go on eBay, type in Russian gas mask filter or Polish gas mask filter, look for the ones that are similar to this or black with these ribbons on, then they will fit your masks, they will work perfectly, and they're safe because they're modern filters. And if any of you didn't know, I'm away for a bit, so I might be able to reply to comments, but there'll be no new videos for a while. So if you want to watch some stuff, watch some of my older stuff you might not have seen. Right, thank you everybody, and hopefully that's cleared that up about what filters you need to put on these masks and what can and can't work.